Good morning, folks. The opening frame here is lasting longer than usual because it tends to be ignored. Almost every question that gets asked could be answered by following the citations, background videos, and source links found right below this video. Just find the About tab or button, click it, and find it all. Kicking to the SDO, folks, if you're going to be with your families or friends midday on Thanksgiving, why don't you pre-game the feast with the perihelion of Comet Ison? After the Stereo and Soho spacecraft have detailed the approach of ISON, the Solar Dynamics Observatory is going to do many maneuvers on Thanksgiving Day to three trajectory points trying to give us the best possible perihelion images of ISON as it skims above the surface of our star. Quick Arctic ice update, coming back as we cool down up north. First weather watch is the Canadian west coast. That system is funneled right to you. To the south, however, remains that power low that brought unusual rain to the U.S. desert. It's actually mixing with the western Gulf system to pour on the remainder of the country. When I pull up the infrared map, you can see that the Gulf and Texas storms are the heaviest. Indeed, we do have flood watches for those areas because of it. Wind map shows that the surface winds shooting south are on a straight line down. This is why we expect snow and even freezing rain down even south across the Mexican border with that system. Then we'll come to Australia, the northwest coast. That is Tropical Storm Alessa and her remaining days will be spent down under. In Europe, we are watching one low cell over Italy as the primary weather with moisture headed north to freeze to the east of that. Go shows we took an M1 from the development north of the departing mega spot, tiny little blip there. Sunspots are barely worth the time to analyze, some more focused on the incoming limb than the central spot. Solar wind is moderately calm, but that's up from calm as death last night. The increasing speed and density at only moderate levels is affecting the meters, but not enough to cause geomagnetic storms, just going to ding those nice smooth curves. Looking at the coronal fields atop the negative opening down south and the positive green arching across the top. The southern bit ending today was of the highest energy. Important for looking forward to note that the northern openings dip to lower latitude, indicating that the blocking magnetics above the coronal hole power are likely to be open to Earth imminently. Adding to a double planetary geometry with Saturn and Mercury conjoining, that will complement a geocentric opposition between Venus and Jupiter. That's all three factors after about a half a one two days ago. This morning the uptick began with a 6.5 in the Fiji region, no tsunami reports and damage totals are not updated yet. Still obviously got an eye on the western ring of fire, including the other areas we discussed being on watch last night in the news. Got some shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.